let's talk about vowel teams. A vowel team syllable is uh, when we have two vowels that make one sound and the first vowel in that vowel team is long and the second one is silent. Now, in the picture that they have here, um, um, because a vowel team is two vowels that make one sound, uh, that's actually not a vowel team. <laughs> that's actually called a trigraph. Light, the I is represented by three things. Three things that make one sound is called a trigraph. Uh, we wouldn't put that in a vowel team. Um, but we could put boat in a vowel team. We could put rain in a vowel team. We could put tree in a vowel team. These are all really good. There are two vowels that make one sound. And the characteristic here is that the first vowel is long and the second one is silent. Uh, so this is a vowel team. The great is actually not a vowel team. It's a vowel diagraph because it's uh, the rule um, is that the rule should be, <laughs> uh, this picture isn't the best, but the rule should be about a vowel team is when we have two vowels that make one sound and the first vowel is long and the second one is silent, like boat, rain, and tree. So that's your example of a vowel team here, okay? Make sure you can spot that. If you're not so sure, like if you're if you're like moon, uh, and you're like is that is that a vowel team? It's not because it has to be long. But if you're looking at this and you're not so sure what a vowel team is, uh, it's better just to say um, uh, vowel uh, diagraph because di vowel diagraph would work for all four of these. It would work for boat and rain and tree and moon, where we have two vowels that make one sound, that could be considered a vowel diagraph, okay? So these would all be single syllable words with vowel diagraphs in them, okay? That would be the safest way to play it. Um, if you saw the words that they were struggling with were vowel diagraphs where the first vowel was long, like boat, rain, tree, then you could be like, these are all single syllable words with, uh, with vowel teams the student is struggling with, right? Then that then you could talk about vowel teams if the words were like the vowels were like this.